I'm Julia Day Trodson and I'm Head of Major Gifts at Moorfields Eye Charity. We fund world leading eye research and education and make a massive difference to the lives of people with sight loss. Something that people might not know about me is I lived and worked in LA for a period of time um, for a work for an event management company and produced events such as the Super Bowl opening party, film premieres and um, uh, a number of events for the NFL. I became a fundraising leader in a very roundabout way. So my background is actually a history of art and architecture. I worked for Tate Design Museum, the Royal Academy of Arts and Sotheby's for a period of time in my early career, um, producing events for exhibitions and sales. I was made redundant in 2009 from Sotheby's, which gave me the opportunity um, to do something else. Um, as they say, one door closes, another opens, and this was absolutely the case in this situation. And it gave me the opportunity to join a phenomenal sector doing great work. So um, I joined Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity and their major gifts team as my first uh, role in the charity sector. And then from there, worked for uh, a number of different health organisations like Breast Cancer Haven, Marie Curie, St John Ambulance and now Moorfields um, in some incredible teams working with some really inspiring and um, exciting leaders um, doing some really valuable work so I felt really appreciated and that I was really making a difference and I think that's what's driven me to stay in the sector. Um, and I've been leading a team for a number of years now, but um, I think uh, part of that drive is to nurture new talent and I really enjoy that part of my role. My typical day can be a number of meetings virtually or in a person with different stakeholders. So that could be um, internal and external stakeholders, um, trustees, committee members, clinicians, um, different teams across the organisation helping us do the work that we do, um, whether it's comms, um, different uh, fundraising streams, um, all sorts really, and of course my team, so I, will, I um, would be having meetings with them to support them in the work that they're doing in their applications or proposals for funding and helping them have all the things that they need in terms of doing the best work that they can. The main skills needed by a fundraising leader, I think are really, it, it really depends on the organisation and what you're doing. It's very difficult to answer, but I would say fundamentally, you need to be really creative, vulnerable, empathetic, curious, passionate, uh, patient, particularly on the, on, on the fundraising side. Um, I would say um, there's kind of three areas really to draw on. In terms of team management, I've really kind of thought back at the amazing leaders and managers that I've had in my career and taken inspiration from them. They really took time to get to know me as a person, to tease out the best in me um, and give me opportunities to work on some really great projects. So I hope I do that for my team and I've had a couple of team members join me from other organisations uh, to other organisations when I've moved on. So that part of it's really important to me that we um, grow and retain um, brilliant talent within our teams and the sector. There's also the cultural piece I think um, around making sure that we're collaborative and we're drawing on everyone's skills and experience. Um, and that's not just in my team, but the, the organisation as a whole. Um, and I think there's just the passion for the organisation and the cause that you're working for. I think if you you can harness that, you know, you're then able to help influence and talk to um, people to help you in the work that you're doing. So it's really important. I think also in the last year, one thing that we've all learned is that we need to be adaptive and creative. We need to have that growth mindset. We need to be um, constantly learning and adapting. 
um, nothing stays the same. So let's make it as good as we can as it changes. My advice for aspiring leaders would be um, to kind of um, really understand kind of who you are. Be yourself. You don't need to pretend to be something you're not. And I think something that we talk about maybe not as much as we should is everyone goes through a period of um, kind of imposter syndrome or not feeling that they're good enough or that they're doing enough in their work life. Um, and I think. If we're more honest about that, we can support each other better. Um, it's okay not to know exactly what you want to do early on in your career. So go out and try lots of different things. If you know fundraising is your thing, try working in individual giving or community or major gifts and see what fits best for you. That's absolutely fine. Um, and also draw on all the skills and great stuff that you can bring to your role. You know, be your authentic self and you will find a path. One of the things I would say is um, I found it really invaluable to um, really draw on the friendships that I've made through different places that I've worked or the different roles I've had. So I have a really great network of friends that I can go to for advice, whether it be work related or otherwise. Um, and that has really helped me um, during some tough times. But also I so value those um those relationships. So I'd really say get a, a good network going who can support you in, in what you want to do. Um, I'd also say take advantage of all of the training that you possibly can. Go to conferences, go to networking events, um, learn as much as you can. I have a natural curiosity about what's happening in the um, kind of arts fundraising area, even though I don't work in that in my day job also higher education, you can draw from so much of what other people are doing in fundraising um, and that might help you in your work. So be curious and keep learning. Um, and the other thing I would say is if you have the time and the capacity, take on some volunteering work. Um, I'm Chair of Trustees for Charity and I've got to say that has been really helpful in my day-to-day -day job, understanding kind of the governance side versus day-to-day um, -day kind of charity, fundraising um, and other activity. That's really helped bolster my experience in that area. So if you can, do it. If you can't, just keep um, part of communities, whether it's online or social media. Even if you're fearful of having a voice, just kind of keep an, um, an eye out on what's happening and help um, form kind of opinions and absorb so much more. So I would just say keep curious. I think that's the main thing. Be you, um, be authentic and be passionate.